Well, you're right. Obviously, I'm assuming you're not moving up to heavyweight and trying out for the Ultimate Fighter. So, what are, what are you doing here today? I'm actually uh, helping one of my good friends, uh, Bea Malekchik. She's actually trying out for the um, Ultimate Fighter series, and uh, she's excited. She's nervous. I was too. It's just another step, you know, for greatness, basically. It's funny because, you know, as these women are trying out, the champ is walking around, Chris Cyborg, and saying hello. What, what is that like? I mean, are they, are they, is it cool? Is it intimidating? What do they feel? You know I, 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 my coach was telling me, I think they're going to fight her at the end. I'm like, no. But when I saw her, I was like, man, that must be intimidating as hell. Like, I'm going to try out for your show to beat you. I don't even know if she's the one that's teaching it. It would probably be weirder if she's teaching the person that's going to potentially beat her. But it's exciting. That's what the world want to see, you know? You've been through this process before, obviously. What's, what advice can you give somebody? I mean, when they're in this position, they're trying to get on the show, what, what's the advice on this day for a fighter to remember? This day, for me, back then, was probably the biggest, scariest moment of my life. And for me, I just accepted it. I embraced it. And I was myself. Uh, the coolest thing I ever did, I, you know, I showed a humorous side of myself in an interview. I pretended I was an off-the-boat African-American with a voice. They thought it was my real voice. I told them it wasn't. They loved it. And I think that really helps. So just be yourself. Be, you know, if you're a funny person, just be that person. If you're angry, be angry. Just be yourself. How about once you get on the show, I mean, does that continue or do you have to play? Because you get it. I mean, this sport's about wins and losses, but it's about entertainment, too. And this is a TV show, right? So once you get on there, is it the same advice to be yourself or do you feel like you have to be, I don't know, a character a little bit? You know, uh, be being on the show, being separated outside the world, what is it, six, seven weeks, there's no outside entertainment. It's just from training to, to home. It gets to you some time, you know, and usually if there's a problem, you run to your phone, there's nothing. You got to talk to people, which no one do these days, or play board game. So in that missed time, sometimes you, your friends on the show will become your enemy because you got to sleep with them. It's one of those pressure cookers, man. It, it's so unpredictable. And back then, looking at it now, it's like, wow, it's the toughest thing I ever did. And I'm glad I, I went through that uncomfortable state because it kind of made me who I am today. So. There's talk about this maybe being the last season of The Ultimate Fighter. I mean, would you be sad to see the show go away? I mean, is this still a valuable thing for fighters, or, or do you feel like, you know, maybe it has run its course? Well, absolutely. You know what? I probably want to teach one myself because I think it would be a cool idea. Uh, I hope it didn't. It doesn't because it's a great opportunity. And the first Ultimate Fighter that I saw was the very first one. And I remember watching that, and I was like, oh, man, I would love to be on that show. So it inspired me. And season 17, I was on it. I hope they don't get rid of it. I think a lot of people out there are still watching it to get inspired from it. And you never know who you're really inspiring from a small standpoint. So I hope they keep it. And, of course, I want to teach it, too. <laughs> now, let's get a couple on you real quick. I mean, uh, are you in full camp now at this point? I mean, you got a big fight coming up. Yes, I'm in full camp right now. I'm following Paulo, Paulo whatever that dude name is, that Brazilian dude. Anyways. Uh, July 7th, I'm excited about it. He's young, he's hungry. He's somewhat talented, but he's hungry. So that makes me want to train even harder, you know? First fight didn't happen for whatever reasons, but, you know, I'm, I'm working on the diet part of it. Uh, and uh, uh, the training, I switched up a little bit just to, to focus on things that I haven't really. My body is one of the main things I neglected because youth will leave you. And my mindset and my pride was like, oh, I'm fine. And as an athlete, you got to you got to work around that. You can't just have one dimensional to say, I'm just going to tough through it. You know, you got to have the responsibility to say, all right, there's certain things that are not working in my favor. What can I do to adjust so I can move forward amicably? So when you talk about your body, your health, I mean, are you back at 100 percent? Is there any kind of lingering effects, even maybe mentally over what you had to go through? You know what? To be honest, I, there was an issue with my stomach and I actually spoke to the doctor recently and they, they put me on this uh, probiotic or and I don't even know what it's called. It's, I can't even say the word. <laughs> but anyways, there was an issue, and it hindered me from making the weight, and I had to push my body further, and in a result, caused me to collapse. But um, I'm a lot better now because I understand what was the issue, and I'm attacking it. So I'm eating healthier, and I'm just, you know, as I get older, I, I'm forgetting that I'm not young. So my body's like, hey, bro, we can't do the same stuff we do. So sleeping is one of them that I'm starting to do more because I don't sleep, and just small, basic things that my body is like, you know, catching up to that I have to catch up with. So it's just mainly being disciplined. It's kind of funny. I mean, we, we've, we've thought of you as this prospect for a long time, this talented up and coming young guy. Now oh, you're the veteran, dude. right? Are you the veteran? There's a couple, couple gray hairs in the beard. Dude, I heard that the other day. So I'm like, hey, you were USC veteran. I'm like, don't, 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 don't put that V word, bro. Just, just don't, don't put that V word. But it's cool because you know you can't do this forever. And uh, the younger generation is coming up. And I used to be an instructor, so I get it. My job is kind of inspire some of these guys too as well but you know I still got some kick in me I'm still in my prime it's not done yet so 
see what happens. On paper, this fight looks like it could be fireworks, right? I mean, this guy's pretty explosive, pretty dangerous as well. Are you, are you feeling like this is going to be a, a fun kind of crazy fight? I, I think so. The guy's tough. He's young. Again, he's young. He's, he's hungry, and he's going to come at me. I have a name, apparently. So to him, you know, he has that confidence behind it. I love that because when my back's against the wall, I perform, and I do things that I'm like, did I just do that? And that's what I love about me. And everyone knows that Uriah is unpredictable. They don't know what you're going to get. Like, should I bet on him? Should I not? Is he going to, you know? So even me, too, it's intrigued me sometimes. So.